fresh off the plane from Minneapolis. Stephen A. Smith is here. Our senior insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, the legend, Michael Wilbon, the two-time executive of the year, Bob Myers, is here with us as well. I'm Malika Andrews, and we are getting you ready for an Eastern Conference showdown between the New York Knicks and the Boston Celtics. So, gentlemen, let's, let's take a look at the standings here. This is something we're going to be doing a whole lot as we march toward the playoffs because the Celtics, they have a comfortable head and shoulders lead on the rest of the conference. The Knicks, they were a half game out from the two seed just about three weeks ago. They've taken a little tumble, not too far, Stephen A, to fourth place. But when you look at that two seed that the Cavaliers currently hold, how important is that for your Knicks come the playoffs? It's not that important. I'm really not concerned. I'm really not concerned at all. I mean, they, they, listen, if the New York Knicks are a top three seed, the objective is to avoid the Boston Celtics. Right. That's the objective. Now, watching Giannis Antetokounmpo hit free throws last night in Minnesota, that made me a bit scarier. Uh, that made them a bit scary in my eyes. But for the moment, it's about the Boston Celtics. Am I worried about the Cleveland Cavaliers? No. We know what Donovan Mitchell could do. We know what Darius Garland could do. We wonder what Jer Jared Allen will do, averaging 15 and 10 this year. But I'm not sold. If the New York Knicks are healthy with the pickup of Bogdanovich, with DiVincenzo playing the way that he's playing, with Alex Burks being a reliable point guard that Thibodeau would trust to use to supplement, you know, to sub for Jalen Brunson. If Julius Randle comes back healthy, if Mitchell Randle, Mitchell Robinson comes back healthy, that's my concern. It's not anybody outside of Boston right. on that list. It's the New York Knicks health. If the New York Knicks come back healthy, they're going to the conference finals. Wow. They're going to the conference finals. Okay. That's where I'm at. You know, All we right. used to call this a clip and save moment back in the newspaper days. <laughs> Stephen A is familiar with it, so as well as where I got a good laugh. Clip and save. All right. You know, I, you know, you're not familiar. By with the way, what, what? I know you are. Stephen A. I don't, I don't disagree with that, but it's all on Julius Randle. Yeah. We don't know, and his statements of the week, which I'm sure you, we were all hanging on. Yeah. He's going to try to play this thing out and not have the surgery, but you, we have known a dozen yeah. players right. or more yeah. Stress that do level. this and they come back and they give it a shot and they can't get to whatever, 80%, 90% of themselves. If the Knicks don't have Julius Randle, then I'm taking the rest of the sure. field. Sure, so, so am I. Julius Randle, OG Ananobi, they've been out since January 27th. We don't know, but Woj has all the answers. That's why he is here. What is the outlook so for those guys? With us. Is he going to give me good news? <laughs> <laughs> they give him good news. <laughs> There's not full clarity on this yet, but know this with Julius Randle. Last season, when he had an ankle injury, you know, there was, you know, a lot of suggestion to him from medical people that he might want to have that surgery that he put off to the offseason during the season. He didn't do it. He played injured into the playoffs, then had the procedure in the offseason. So you, you kind of start there with Julius Randle. His inclination is to play, uh, and it is to play even hurt and in some discomfort. That's his goal right now is to try to get back and play and put anything off to the offseason. But that's still fluid. That's not been fully decided but OG Ananobi, better news on that front, mm -hmm. had a loose particle taken out of his uh, uh, elbow uh, back on trade deadline day, February 8th. I'm told he is right on schedule. There's not been any setbacks. They'll reevaluate him at the end of next week. And then the hope is he starts to get back on the court then. Uh, but certainly uh, Julius Randle is the one. I think there's more uh, concern this season yeah. about not just getting him back, but how effective can he be playing with that injured right shoulder? That's some partially good news there. Well, when you say Hanks. the word fluid, we do this. That, 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 that isn't good. That's not good news. <laughs> okay. That is not good news. I mean, because if the Knicks aren't healthy, they're not. It's not happening. And but that, you can say that about any team. I hope they are healthy because they've done a heck of a job this year. Their whole front office, Leon Rose, the whole group, Thibodeau, has done a fantastic job. The whole whole organization has done a fantastic job. So I hope they're healthy. In December, they had the worst defense in the league. In January, they had the best defense in the league. Last month, February, basically this month, so far, 22nd. When they're healthy, they were the most healthy in January. And they were very good. And they were winning games. They were beating good teams. As far as being in the second seed in the East, yeah, the Celtics, there's a gap between the Celtics and the Knicks. I think we can all, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm not going to put words in your mouth. Celtics, there's, there's a gap. Yeah. But, but after that, look, Embiid's health is a question. I think, if Embi I think if Embiid's healthy, Philly's a problem for any team. I believe that. Milwaukee's been like this, right? What, what is Milwaukee? I don't know. Last night? They, they looked good last, good last night. night. But tomorrow night or whatever, they play again. It may not. Um, Cleveland, last year Cleveland was, they fell apart right. in, yeah. in the playoffs. They right. did. This is a better Cleveland team. This, this, is, a better, this is a better yeah. Cleveland team. So I guess what I would say is this is the best chance the Knicks have had in maybe however many years, There's 20 years, right. to make these. Actually, question. honestly, 
to make the NBA Finals. Absolutely. This is the clearest not, path. I'm but if they're not, not healthy yeah. and Julius Randle saying, I'm playing 60%, I can't. Right. It's, it's well, look at it this way. Listen, I don't want that to happen. I'd be depressed if that were to happen. But at the end of the day, listen, an injury is an injury, and that could happen to anybody. What I'm saying is it's presently constructed. What Leon Rose and the crew have done is admirable. I'm looking at Cleveland. I'm not concerned. I'm a little bit more concerned about Milwaukee, but not to the point where I don't believe the New York Knicks can take them. You didn't mention I see Miami one team. yet. I'm not worried about Miami. They're uh, going to take Miami, too. I told Miami that when I saw them a few right. weeks ago. They're okay. going to take I Miami, too. I am worried about Miami, too. I'm, I should have mentioned worried Miami. About I'm a little oh, worried. Whatever. If you I'm forgot about the four reasons. About you forgot Miami. about the I'm four sorry, reasons, I okay? The, the New York Knicks have the Boston. They got their health, and the Boston Celtics to worry about. That's it.